Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very, very well today. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie Jade. I post videos over here at least three times a week and I do have a vlogging channel also. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out the Self Tanning Wipes by Skin Deep. I have never tried these before. I have no idea if these are going to work. I have no idea what they're going to be like, but I saw them. Could not help but pick them up and I really, really want to test them out in a video for you all. So I hope you all enjoy this video. If you do, do not forget to smash that thumbs up button. Leave me a lovely little comment in that comment section down below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And let's get straight on with today's video. As you can probably tell, I'm very, very pale right now. I literally look so ghostly. But I picked these tanning wipes up and I have been so excited to try them. I think I actually picked them up like a good like six months ago now. So I've literally just not got around to trying them yet. So this is the packaging for them. I think they look really, really cool. So these are the Skin Deep Self Tanning Wipes. I got these, I think, from home bargains or somewhere like that i think they're only about a pound so they were really really affordable you get 20 wipes in a pack here they are recyclable packaging dermatologist approved for your face and body clinically tested for a natural looking streak free golden tan i am so excited to try these out i've literally not even opened the package yet it's all fully sealed still but i am so so excited so i'm just going to read the instructions on the back first so we know how this works so it says that skin deep self tanning wipes are specifically formulated for the face and body to produce a natural looking streak free golden tan which lasts for days. Enriched with aloe vera, the wipes give an all over natural tan after just three to six hours. For a deeper tan, reapply the next day. So by the sounds of it, you don't have to wash that off, which is good. So you're not having to worry about like a guide color and then having to wash it off afterwards. And it says it should develop over three to six hours, which is really, really good. I'm just excited. I want to get into this. So I'm going to open this up now. I don't even know which side. Okay, so open it on that side. Oh my god, it didn't even come off. Okay, there we go. Oh, they're just like normal wet wipes. I was expecting them to be like a fake tan colour, but they're not. They're just like normal wet wipes, which is really strange. Really like the packaging of them, but we'll see what wet wipes are like. They don't really smell if anything, they just kind of smell like a normal wet wipe, like quite sanitary. They smell quite nice though. Okay, I'm gonna get started. I'm quite excited about this. I don't know how this is gonna work. And the one thing I'm thinking of is like, how am I gonna know which parts of my body I've already tanned? It's really strange, but I'm gonna get started. I'm just gonna start on my shoulder up here. And I'm just going to wipe my shoulder with this wet wipe. This is so weird. I've literally never ever tried a tan like this before. I've tried some different tans, some different like, advanced technology tans some i've tried all sorts of different ones but this is nothing like i've ever tried before but this might be kind of good for like travel and things like that if you're going on holiday and you just want to take some tan with you you can just take a packet of wet wipes this could we could really be onto something here so i'm literally just wiping this all over my arm i don't know like with it not having a guide color you can't really see what parts of your body you've covered, what parts you haven't. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. But I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited. So I got a feeling I'll have to really scrub my hands quite well after this. Because if not, you can imagine that my hands are just completely orange from... Because I've got the wet wipe on my hands all the time. Like wiping it onto my skin. So I feel like I'll definitely have to give my hands a good scrub afterwards. But like you cannot tell any difference at all from just applying the wet wipes. So I'm quite excited to see how it develops and what it looks like once it is developed. I don't know how many wet wipes it'll take for me to do my full body either. So I'm just starting with this bit here. I've done my arms really. I'm just going to start moving across my body. It does smell quite nice and it's quite refreshing. It's also not too damp, like it's starting to dry there. It's not fully dried, it's not the fastest drying tan. But I've definitely, definitely got like slower ones. So I'm just going to do a little bit on my face as well. I don't want too much on there, but I want it to be matching the rest of my body. I've just done like a full skincare routine as well, so I'm hoping that that doesn't interfere with the tan, but it should be fine. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm thinking about this. 
This is just a really, really strange experience. Like I'm literally rubbing a wet wipe all over my body. This one's pretty much feeling like it's now all dried out. So I'm just gonna start on my legs just to make sure I've got all the rest of this product off and then might start with another wet wipe. You get 20 in a pack, so it's not exactly like you don't get that many. I've just got another wet wipe out of a packet and this one actually feels more wet. So this one might have more product on, the other one might have just lost a bit of product or like dried out a little bit with it being right on the top so i'm just gonna go over my face a little bit make sure i get my ears all the way down my neck i probably have to go get my mum to do my back for me especially with it being a wet wipe it's so much harder especially when you can't see what you're doing as well so that's my face pretty much done my arms are all done i'm not gonna hop off camera i'm gonna do my legs Going to do the rest of my body and then I'll come back on here have a little chat with you about my overall kind of like first impressions before we go away for a while and then see the result. I've now finished tanning the rest of my body and do you know what? So far, I'm really, really impressed with these tanning wipes. I found they are so much faster. So they make the tanning so much more convenient and just so much less time consuming. I absolutely love to be tanned, but one of my worst things about tanning is the amount of time it actually takes to do the tanning. This way, it's so easy. You'll literally get a wet wipe and just wipe it all over yourself. It took me three wet wipes in total to do my entire body. Depending on how deep you want your tan, you may want more, you may want less than that. But the smell I found has definitely got stronger the more I've put on. It's a little bit like that normal fake tan smell, just a little bit weaker, it's like it's not as strong. Overall, I'm really, really impressed. They were really, really wet. They did a really, really good job. One wet wipe went a long way. My skin isn't feeling like sticky or anything. It's actually dried really, really fast. So from starting the video till now, the rest of my tan's already dried by the time I finish the video, which is really good. I feel like it was just so, so much easier. They're also really, really good for if you're going on holiday. I just want a quick last minute tan. Love, love, love the fact that you don't need to wash it off. These are my favorite types of tans that you can just put on and you're ready to go. Really like those. But do you know what? I think it's gonna be really streaky. I like it so far, but I think when we get the result in a few hours, I'll come back in like six hours time. But I think when we come back, I think it's gonna be really, really streaky because I really struggle to see where I've put any product. Like I might have done the same part of my arm like four times, but then missed my elbow. It's so hard, you cannot see at all where you've put any product. Normally with the ones that are the no wash off and no guide colour ones, you can see like a little bit where you put product, but I literally look so pale, you cannot tell at all. So I tried to go easy on it, I tried to go as equally and evenly as I could to try to avoid any patchiness. But I do think it is going to be really, really patchy. I'm not sure about what shade it's going to come out at yet, so I'm quite excited to see that. So I'm going to hop off camera now and then I'll come back in about six hours time. So currently it is 4 or 9 in the afternoon. So I'll come back later on this evening and catch up with you guys and show you what the tan looks like. Hey guys, so I'm now back and it is now the next morning. So I was going to film the outro last night, but when I looked at the tan, there's hardly anything there. So I decided to go over with another wet wipe just to see if we could get a bit of a stronger effect. Just to see if it was just because I didn't use enough wet wipes or something like that. So I used another wet wipe last night, just one more. So I think that's four in total we've used now. And I just wanted to see what it would look like. So I just wanted to give you my overall opinion now, overall... If I'm completely honest, I'm not that impressed with the tanning wipes. I think they're a great idea. They're such a great idea, like having tanning wipes and they're so much more convenient. But the overall result, I'm not really impressed with. For example, you can see over here with my shoulder, I have like a massive patch here. You can see that it has actually tanned me, but it's just not tanned me properly. Like all the way down my arm, I've got patchiness. It's done my elbow quite well. It's not that patchy compared like usually when I turn my elbows they'll be a lot darker than the rest of me so it's done my elbows really really well and my legs are so 
so patchy they are so so bad i'm definitely gonna have to get all this off but i've got about a white patch on my leg about this long and then my hands are very very orange as well i did scrub them afterwards but since you're using your hands to apply it with they gained a lot of product compared so they're very very orange the back of my hands aren't that bad but then we get to like my fingers like there's literally a line down the side of each one of my fingers of orange where it then goes like being really pale but that's probably a bad one to show so yeah i'm not sure what i think of this tan if i'm honest look at me right now i still look really pale so i don't think it's actually done that much i don't think it's done my face at all even though i did tan my face it's not really done my neck but then when you come down here you can see my arms i definitely tanned but i don't know i just don't like the patchiness i'm really not a fan of that and then down my legs as well they're just really really patchy and i'm really not a fan i feel like for a top-up tan this would be good so if you're going on holiday or if you're going out somewhere and you've tanned but you just want to top it up and make it a bit darker these would be great for that they're so convenient they're really handy they are, I'd say they're easy to use because they are easy to use but they're not easy to see where you've already gone over because they're white, wet wipes and they don't leave any sort of like guide colour. I think it's great that you don't have to wash the product off, you can just leave it to develop, that's great, I love that part of the product. But overall I'm not impressed because the overall colour isn't what I wanted it to be, the actual application of it was easy to do but like I said you couldn't see where you applied it so it makes it hard with patchiness. Also, if you catch your skin, I'll even like scratch your leg, like I had an itch on my leg and it was after it dried, so it was this morning, I scratched my leg and now I've got a big white scratch all the way down my leg. So at least the tan comes off quite easily, but yeah, I wouldn't really recommend this if I'm completely honest because I just found there's so many better tans out there, like it's so affordable, it's really, really fast, it's easy to use, but the overall outcome isn't what I expected and isn't what I want from a tan. It seemed to do all of the tricky parts, for example, like my ankles, and my knees, my elbows. It seems to have done all those so well, and it's actually covered those really, really well. So maybe these wipes are ones that you could use for those difficult parts, so maybe like your feet and your elbows, things like that just to make those parts easier to do because those bits actually did really really well if you look at my elbows that's actually tanned really really well my knees have tanned well my feet have tanned really well there's no patchiness on them so they've actually performed well but the rest of my body has just not taken to the tan the way i'd like it to have done another thing i think that they could have improved on were the instructions on the packaging because i think it just stated that you should apply the wet wipes in circular motions around your body leave for four to six hours to develop and then reapply the next day if it's not dark enough. That's all it said. It didn't say anything about how many wet wipes to use. It didn't tell you whether you should wash it off or not. The fact that it didn't tell you to wash it off, I'm just assuming that you don't. It didn't tell you to wear gloves or your hands. I just assumed it'd be okay, like some stupid person. I did try wash it off, but obviously if I'm like using it on my hands the whole time I'm doing it on my body, they are gonna go darker. But yeah, I don't know. I wasn't expecting them to be this dark and I did scrub them. So I don't know. I'm not that impressed. And then literally down my fingers, like I said before, down my fingers is so patchy. You can see it really bad there. I literally have white lines on the centers of my fingers. And it just doesn't look good. I do have some really, really good fake time removers that I've been using, some to try. If you haven't checked out those videos, make sure you do. I absolutely love doing tanning remover and tanning videos. So that's something I've really, really been into. But overall, I'm not that impressed. I wouldn't tell you guys to go run and grab this. Like I said, I think they're only like 99p from Home Bargain. So it's like a top-up tan or just as like an extra layer of tan. I think that'd be great. But as your overall, like to use this as an actual independent tanner, I would not recommend this. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I've really enjoyed filming this. As I said, it's not been the most successful one, but I feel like it's important to have some videos like this that don't go well, so you can tell if I don't like a product, I will tell you I do not like the product. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a lovely, lovely little comment in the comment section down below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!